multiple cursors. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is grab this first word and with command E we can enter it as the find selection. You can find it again of course. You can find backwards. The nice thing you can do in TextMate is now uh, extend that selection downward and now I'm just going to tap the option key and we've got wow a multiple cursor selection. I can replace that whole column now with uh, say a new word like civil and we can now skip across this is option shift right grab the same word again and we could replace it again with civil so you're now editing in multiple places um, let's make these uh, line endings ragged so a more typical situation that you might be dealing with each line now is a different length Let's start off now, I'm just going to shift down and then tap the option key. We've now got a vertical selection. If I, I type here, you can see that happening. But what if we just want to add something on the end of each line now, say a full stop? Well, I just uh, command shift right, tap the right key again. Now I've got multiple cursors and they're all aligned to the end of the line that they are on. And so if I type a period or full stop here, it goes in the right place. Same thing, command shift uh, left key and we're back to the beginning of the line. I can add something at the beginning here, perhaps line that we might want or uh, if you're an HTML editor we can use this uh, to do our closing tags. Just switch now with uh, control option shift H for HTML, get it nicely syntax highlighted. Um, one question is, do the cursors work properly? Here we're going to do command option full stop, which would normally complete any open tags. And oops, that doesn't quite work uh, in this version of TextMate, but it will in the future. Uh, so currently you have to do this manually. What else can you learn? Well. A really neat thing is, let's say that we want to replace all these option, all these uh, instances of civil with something else. Uh, I've got a macro set up so that if I press Command W now, which would normally select the word, if there's no selection, it will it, it will select the word. But if there is already a selection, it will go and find the next instance of that word. And quite often, let's just say we want to replace the first four instances of civil with civilian. Well, that was no problem. Doing that is much easier than uh, find all in a selection that is just the right length. Uh, you'll find yourself using it all the time. What else can we do with multiple cursors? Uh, I mean, just tons, right? The, the key is to realize the power of getting the selection right with the keyboard. Just that option tap. You've got all the power of navigating via words that lets you desynchronize those cursors. Um, you're not trapped in the mode. You can just uh, up arrow and boom you're 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 out of there so multiple curses good thing get used to using them